Hey, welcome back to Cameras and Coffee. Today, we're going to talk about two filters. But here's what we're looking at. Moment Cine Bloom, 5%. Tiffin, 1 8 Black Pro Mist. Okay? They're both super similar. They're both really weak. Okay? But I think they're both really great. Which one's going to be better for you? Let's find out. Okay? Um, there's no filter on this camera right now and we are shooting on my brand new Sony ZV-E10 um, so this will be awesome I'm excited to see the video uh, so let's just jump into this real quick I'm going to show you what the, the Moment Cine Bloom 5% looks like here it is Moment Cine Bloom 5% Cine Bloom on, Cine Bloom off. Cine Bloom on, off. Cine Bloom on, what do you think? Off, okay. Now, we're gonna look at the Tiffin 1 8 Black Pro Mist. This is the Tiffin on. off tiffin on all right i'm just going to screw this tiffin on so this is the tiffin this is the tiffin 1 8 black pro mist yeah okay great i like it i've had it for years everyone's been using diffusion filters in hollywood for years i think they're great one of the great things about all diffusion filters is, is I think the goal is, is to make your, well, I don't know what your goal is. My goal is when using a diffusion filter of any type is to kind of make it, especially, well, especially with these new electronic, these new digital cameras, I want to try to give it a less digital feeling, you know, make it look a little bit less electronic. Um, and I'd like to try to do that without making it look like you're going through a fog. You're driving through a foggy day in the, on down PCH, you know, Pacific Coast Highway, for those of you who don't know. Um, I don't think it should look like pea soup outside. You know, you and I, have, I think we've all seen. I'll take the, I'm, I'm going to take the one eighth off. All right, so I'm going to keep rambling. All right, no filters on right now. I have them both right here. I... I know, I think, I think we've all seen some diffusion filter tests where some of them are just so like super foggy. You know, you got the super hot chick at the beach or whatever, or in bed or whatever, but you're gonna like wipe all that out with um, a really heavy diffusion filter. And you know, it, it doesn't seem like that's the right thing to do. Maybe do it a little bit. You know, you still wanna see all the all those cool parts and I think you can do it delicately with lighter filters instead of just really diffusing everything like it's a super mist or your bedroom's on fire or whatever you wanted to portray um, you know of course you know so just like just like colors just like colors subjective diffusion filters and the strengths that you use are also subjective me personally, I think you should be used. Me personally, I like to use the weaker ones. I like these Tiffin 1 8 Black Pro Mists. Here's the 1 8. I'm just going to screw this on real quick. All right, this is the 1 8. All right, this is the Tiffin 1 8 Black Pro Mist. Pretty great. It's been in the film business for 50 years, 60 years. Everyone uses these, you know, for just about, they kind of leave it on all the time, actually, uh, or some, or some type of diffusion, maybe not this specific one, but this one's been around in Hollywood forever. The Tiffin 1 8th, Tiffin 1 8th Black Pro Mist. I'm taking it off. I'm going to put on the Moment Cine Bloom right now. Okay. I'm going to talk to you about this Moment Cine Bloom. This is the moment, <laughs> this is the moment, 
This is the moment Cine bloomed 5%. This is the weakest one you can get. Um, so let's see how it compares to the Tiffin 1 8th Black Pro Mist. So let's look at a, a couple of quick on-offs. There it is on, off, on, off, on, off. These were all the moment Cine Bloom 5%. I'm going to screw it on. All right, and let me talk a little bit about this while I screw this on. All right. Uh, <clears throat> like that airplane overhead, huh? Okay, this is the moment Cine Bloom 5%. I think it looks pretty great. Um, I want to show you a couple things that I think are trouble areas for both of these filters and I was surprised matter of fact I was so surprised and kind of bummed because I'm reshooting this whole video because there was a lot of flares going on and normally flares are great because they make things look cinematic um, I know everyone likes to use that term um, but these flares that I was getting from these diffusion filters both of them were not very cinematic um, I think they were really distracting and I actually think they made the shot look kind of ugly. So I'm going to show you a couple of quick clips of that and then I'm going to go back and reshoot a couple of different areas at night to see if you can see a better difference between um, both diffusion filters because in the daylight it's really hard to tell. I mean right now this is the moment Cine Bloom. We just had the 1 8th on. I'm going to take the Moment Cine Bloom off. Okay. Um, okay. Cine Bloom on. Cine Bloom off. Okay. Like I said, you probably, you, you may not have even noticed anything. Okay. That's all right. Um, you're really going to see it a little bit more if you have, if you're backlit or if you have stronger light sources in your frame, or like what you're going to see tonight when I go down into Hollywood, some of the lights on these buildings, uh, the neons, um, they're going to flare differently, and they're going to bloom differently. So really pay attention to how big that bloom is on these specific lights, and also look at the shadows and see which one of these lightens it or darkens it because one of them definitely does and I don't want to give it away but I was surprised um, for not changing any settings on my camera one of these filters had lighter shadows which I thought was really interesting and a more relaxed kind of bloom more subtle um, so this is going to be the end of my daylight test let's go drive into Hollywood and check it out and see if we can come up with something clever. All right. All right, here we are, Hollywood Boulevard, uh, looking straight down to the Pantages. This is clean, ISO 320 uh, on a Sigma 65 at F2. This is clean. No filters. Okay, here we are. Nothing's changed. This is the moment Cinebloom, 5%. Look at those double reflections. Nice. <laughs> uh, it's a bit of a rookie move, actually. We need to have an angled mat box in here so that won't happen. But anyway. This is the moment Cine Bloom at 5%. How these headlights look? Nice and bloomy. Alright. Alright, this is the Tiffin 1 8th Black Pro Mist. Nothing's changed. Tiffin 1 8th Black Pro Mist. Same everything, same settings. ISO 320. F2. Tiffin Black Pro Mist 1 8th.
All right, this is clean. No filter on this one, just so you can compare. No filter on this one, clean. All right, here we are in Hollywood. Um, ISO 640. With the Sony ZV-10. This is clean. This is clean with the Sigma 65 F2. This is clean. This is the same exact shot. Everything's the same except with the Tiffin 1/8 Black Pro Mist. This is the Tiffin 1/8 Black Pro Mist. Tiffin 1/8 Black. This is also the same shot. Same exact everything except. This is with the Moment Cine Bloom 5%. 5%. This is the Cine Bloom at 5%. This is clean. No filters. This is clean, no filters. Here we are at Al's Liquor. Al's Liquor. ISO 160. At a two. This is clean in HLG2. This is clean in HLG2. Al's Liquor. First up, this is the Tiffin 1 8 Black Pro Mist. This is the Tiffin 1/8 Black Pro Mist. This is the Moment Cine Bloom 5%. This is the Moment Cine Bloom 5%. This is the moment, Cine Bloom 5%. All right, this is clean. No filter. No filter on this one. No filter. All right, this is the Tiffin 1 8 Black Pro Mist. Tiffin 1 8 Black Pro Mist. Same settings, nothing has changed. Using the same settings for all of these filters. Tiffin 1 8 Black Chromist. Nothing fancy here. This is just a street light. So I can show you the bloom. And this is the Moment Cine Bloom 5%. The Moment Cine Bloom 5%. Hey, thanks for watching Cameras and Coffee. I hope you guys enjoyed my Cine Bloom 5% versus my Tiffin 1 8 Black Pro Mist shootout.